Hello everybody and welcome to my first movie review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new movie Rogue One, A Star Wars Story and just up front, major spoilers are going to be in this so if you have not seen the movie, turn away from this video now and come back when you see the movie because you are not going to want this movie spoiled. It was an amazing movie so just hurry up and back out, you've been warned, spoilers. So without further ado, let's get into this movie review. Let's go. On December 16th. The odds are too great. We need to surrender. The most powerful weapon. I have no idea we're coming. You are rebels, aren't you? Is hope. Take hold of this moment. The force is strong. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Ready PG-13. Alright, so Rogue One is finally upon us after a year of without Star Wars. It feels great to be going back into the universe again, although it's nowhere near as long as the wait as last time. But Disney has had the work cut out for them since they purchased Lucasfilms. They had to revamp the whole Star Wars franchise, make it good, make up for the prequels. And they've delivered, honestly, even if they just remade the A New Hope. But, you know, A New Hope was good and added new characters and everything made it amazing. But that is not what we're here for today. Today they did something else. They wanted to make standalone Star Wars films and... I, I honestly didn't know how they were going to work out. I didn't know what the story was going to be behind them, but for the first one, they went with the story of how they got the plans for the Death Star, and I was like, okay, this could be good. And let me tell you something, this is actually up there on my favorite Star Wars movies. Um, this movie actually had the wars of Star Wars. Like, this had more war in it, and that's what I loved about it. It was so action-packed, and it just... It felt like Star Wars, but it was way darker, and I absolutely loved that. Um, it showed a lot more, like in the like in the saga films, the Skywalker story. I think that's what they're calling it. Um, it's like it's just always between good and light, all that. There's no blurred lines or anything. But in this one, it actually caught more of a real feel to what was behind all of it and a war and there was like wars and rebellions and each side had its goodness and its darkness well besides Darth Vader he was only in it for like seven minutes tops but those seven minutes made a huge impact on the film let me tell you so definitely go see this film um, the casting in this movie was absolutely awesome uh, Donnie Yen who plays the, I can't remember, I can't think of the name on top of my head, but he was the blind dude. He wasn't a Jedi, but he was definitely the most connected to the Force out of all of them. Um, his character was pretty amazing and had some really funny scenes, like when they covered up the, his face when they were taking him away to meet Saw Gerrera. And he's like, really? I'm blind. Are you freaking serious? You have to cover my face up? And so this movie actually, while it does have its darker moments, it also, I also caught myself laughing in some of it. And I'm getting out of sync. I'm sorry about this. I'm getting out of sync throughout this whole thing. Um, we're going to start with the opening. Um, it starts out with the original, like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away in that classic Star Wars blue tent. Now, at first that confused me because I was like, wait, there's going to be an opening crawl. I thought there was not going to be an opening crawl for this movie. But it didn't. It went from a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away and bam, went straight into the movie. Which I actually liked. It set up something different and it could actually, it started in a flashback of Jen, the, who is the main character in this movie, um, played by Felicity Jones. She did a freaking awesome job. Um, I honestly haven't really seen her much in action before, but she she pulled it off flawlessly like she was amazing like there was a scene where there was a hologram of her dad 
and she was split up from her dad for 15 years. She had no idea where he was. Um, she's just this person. Her mom died in the flashback. It was when she got separated from her dad, and who turns out to be the one who created the Death Star. And she, the emotion she put behind that scene where she saw her dad for the first time in 15 years, even though it was a hologram, just that raw emotion she brought through, and I could feel, I was just like, wow, she, she's awesome. This movie was extremely well casted. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to more standalone Star Wars films. I think the next one's Han Solo. So I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that one, but this one definitely had an amazing story behind it. And I love the technology we have today. Can we just talk about that? Um, this pretty much felt like the or original, like this is among like Empire Strikes Back Star Wars. Like I rate it that high. It was freaking amazing. Um, definitely go see it. But, more spoilers. I already said this thing's going to be full of spoilers. Um, surprisingly, I did not see the end coming. Um, I should have, but I didn't. Uh, and that is everybody dying. Like, it was so sad. Like, it was sad. It was legitimately sad. Like, it definitely caught more of the sacrifices of war and what they had to do to get the plans to the Death Star to the Rebels. Like, every and what was awesome was each person had their own moments in which they died like they sacrificed themselves and you could just see the look in the press like yeah i know i'm not gonna make it out here alive but i'm gonna make an impact while i can and those scenes were absolutely beautiful um especially the final scene with jen and oh god um diego luna's character i can't think of it right now I can think of the actor, but I can't think of the character. Um, what was it? Um, anyway, um, when they had they got the plans to the Rebel fleet, but they shot the Death Star at the base, and they were all trapped there. And it was just beautiful. They were on the shore of the ocean, watching the giant wave of destruction come towards them. And they, they knew their time was up, and they just sat there, watched it, and embraced each other. They didn't, they had an attraction to each other, but they never actually played on that, which I actually loved. Like, they didn't go for the cheesy option. They're like, well, we're just gonna be here together, and we're gonna die, but we succeeded. And I, I that was absolutely beautiful. That was one of the most beautiful scenes to me. Just seeing them watch their imminent death come in. And also, the dude who created the Death Star was watching it come to him, which was kind of ironic, watching him get destroyed by his own cre or his own plans. But it was really Jen's dad who did it, and that was more emotion. When she finally found her dad, and he died, um, that, like they were gonna go, the rebels were gonna go kill him anyways, which I was like, oh, dang, this isn't all black and white. The rebels are just doing whatever they have to do to survive, which I actually really loved. Like, it doesn't show just the Rebels being the good guys. Like, Diego Luna's character in the very beginning, when someone told him the plans, he was like, oh, ca oh crap, the stormtroopers are coming, and Diego Luna shot the dude that gave him the information. I was like, okay. So, it's not all good and evil. He's doing what he has to do to survive. And that actually depicts war really well, at least in my opinion. Like, they all did stuff they were not proud of, but they did it for a cause they believed in. And I honestly think that is way more realistic. And by far, this movie had way more intense and better battle sequences than India, any other Star Wars film. And I would, I would easily go up and say it had one of the best space battles in pretty much any, at least in my opinion, any sci-fi war movie or anything like that. Um... But this movie definitely just, oh, it got me. Like, it was, I would rate it about a 9.3 out of 10. It did have its flaws, but, you know, another just, oh, God, this movie is so beautiful. Um, also had a bunch of Easter eggs, which I loved. It had, like, the dudes from the cantina from A New Hope. It had them for a brief second. You saw Senator Organa. Organa, Organa, 
you know who I'm talking about. Leia's adopted dad. And um, speaking of that, freaking Leia. Like, CGI, like, I was shocked. Like, they did um, Tarkin. I think it was Tarkin. Anyway, it was the dude who was, like, Vader's right-hand man in A New Hope in the Death Star. And they computer animated a human and actually did a scene with a computer animated human and I actually bought it. Like, it looked so amazing. Like, the technology is insane. Like, you can do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm probably going to actually do that to the side of the two computer-generated characters. And you can barely tell and it's great. And you could tell a little bit more with Princess Leia because at the end scene they it actually picked up like literally right where New Hope starts like when this comes out I'm looking forward to a fan just combining Rogue One and A New Hope like that'll make it so much easier when I marathon the movies come on just slide right out of Rogue One into A New Hope it literally starts about A New Hope literally starts about five or ten minutes after Rogue One ends um, Speaking of that, C-3PO and R2-D2 made a very brief appearance in this movie, which I appreciated because, you know, I love R2. God, I have my R2 in a Star Wars movie. Um, of course, now it's BB-8. Sorry, R2. But I would definitely suggest this movie if you have not seen it. Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, go watch this movie. It's such a great movie. Um, trying to think if there's anything I missed. If there is, I'll post it in a later video. But anyways, um... Go see the movie. It's amazing. Space battles. Awesome. Oh, shoot. Darth Vader. Duh. What is wrong with me? Uh, that final scene where it connects perfectly to episode four. It was Darth Vader and he he went into total badass mode. Um, it, was, it was honestly like a murder thing. It was scary. Like it, it was the rebels on their ship and all of a sudden you heard his breathing and then the whole, it was in the dark hallway and the whole dark way just lit up it had dull red from his lightsaber and he was just walking down the hall slashing all mall with his lightsaber and they were trying to run the plans to the people and they were locked in but the dude squeezed the plans through the crack of the door just in time and then he saw the lightsaber go through and then the ship from A New Hope where it starts leaves and it ends with Darth Vader watching the ship leave and oh my god it's just so amazing it's just so amazing how much how much this plot how much this movie tied into A New Hope e oh even then it solved one of the biggest problems I had with A New Hope which was why was there such a flaw in the Death Star and how they do that and this movie actually answered that for me I've been waiting forever for an answer to that and it's because of Jin's dad um he he sacrificed himself pretty much and played the part as he was actually part of the Empire so he could actually make the Death Star the way he wanted to and build in that flaw to get and tell the Rebels about it so they could destroy it because he knew they were going to build it regardless so he decided to act to be on their side so he could build it the way he wanted to which I, was, I thought was awesome. Anyway, this movie was definitely up there on my list of Star Wars movies. Um, if you haven't seen it, go see it as soon as you can. It's a great movie. I'm probably going to go see it again. Just see if I can catch up on any more Easter eggs, pick up on any more Easter eggs that I missed. I'm sure there was tons of them that I missed. Um, if y'all can think of anything I missed in the review, please comment it down below. I'm sure there's stuff. I'm just so bleh right now and I'm kind of feeling under the weather, so sorry. But yeah, just give this video a like and subscribe if you, oh, sorry, if you enjoyed it. If you love the movie, if you're going to go see the movie, comment and let me know what you thought of the movie. Um, like our Facebook page. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.